everyone, I hope you're all doing well and it's finally time for my December favourites video. So it's the last favourites video of the year even though I'm filming it in the new year. Um, and I will also be doing a best of 2011 video as well, showing you the products that I've loved most for um, all the categories. And if you hear like a humming noise, it's because I have a fan going on in the background. I don't know if you can see it, it's like a little desk fan. Um, it's finally starting to get warm here in Sydney, like it's January, it should be quite hot. Um, so I've got the fan going and I've had to close my door just because it's like, oh, we've got visitors. So um, let's get started, shall we? First I'll start off with nail polish and um, it's the one I'm wearing my nails right now, which is the Australis nail color intense color with a high shine streak free formula and this is in the shade Peek a Boo so it's like a super pretty lilac shade and I am absolutely in love with this color um it's nothing else more I can say about it the first time I wore it I literally could not stop looking at my fingernails I was just like oh my god um and then I received like tons of compliments from like everyone I was like wow you know like I thought it looked nice but I didn't realize that everyone else would think it looked nice too anyways um so that's what that is and I'm absolutely loving it and I don't know why I would ever want to wear any other color on my nails again but of course I will um and I want to get like 50 million backups just because I super do love this so on top of this I do like you can do two coats to get a pretty good opacity but um Sometimes I like to do three coats just to like, well if you do three coats it's probably three thin coats just to like make it look really nice anyways. And then on top of that I use my Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat. It's the one in the red bottle and the white lid. Um, just because it allows your nails to be dry to, dry to touch in 30 seconds. and. Um, I'm like the most impatient person in the world and so this is really really handy and it cuts down like my nail painting time by like half. Um, if you want a bit more shine you can use the high shine one, oh, that's probably not what it's called but it's the one in the silver bottle and the um, blue lid. Basically the only, only, only negative about that one is that because it's like an opaque silver bottle you can't see how much you've got left, whereas this one you can, but that's not really much of a negative is it? Otherwise that's really good as well and um, so it's high shine and it's quick dry. Cure Natural Aqua Gel and it's, this is an exfoliator. Um, I think this is 90% water, like there's no granules in here. Um, I've been loving this this month just to kind of get rid of uh, get rid of all my dead skin cells and you know really prep well um, for applying makeup just because I've been wearing a lot of makeup and like you know party books. Um, yeah, I've always always loved this, but I just found this to be particularly useful this month. If anyone's interested to learn more about this, I can do a full review video. Just let me know in the comments below. The next skincare item has been like a godsend and I've heard about this for like literally years and years and years and I'm not really sure why I didn't pick it up. Like, I really have no excuses but it's the um, tea tree oil. This one is by Thursday Plantation, Australia's original tea tree oil antiseptic 100% pure. It's a little 10ml bottle and I really wish I picked up the bigger size one because I need it. But um, I've been breaking out a lot because, you know, bad diet, not sleeping. I've had like, I've gone to so many barbecues in one week, I can't even count. Um, and this has been really good so I put this on overnight on a pimple. And the next day it'll have like deflated but it wouldn't be dried out so I'm not like left with a scab or like flaky skin or anything like that. And then during the day I dab someone as well just to keep it kind of um, just 
to stop it from, well I call it growing, but <laughs> you know what I mean, just to stop it from coming back. And then um, the second night I um, put some on the pimple again, and then the day after the second night, well, um, <laughs> what was I saying? The day after the second night, it's pretty much gone, completely healed. You might get like a little, little bit of a redness or like um, a pigmentation, but like it's pretty much gone. So this has been like a miracle workout. Love it, love it, love it. If Okay, on to some body care items. The first one is the Garnier Body Intensive 7 Days Ultra Softening Lotion. Um, and this is the one for dry skin. And it's the one with the nu nutritive mango oil. And this smells so good. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So it's fairly, uh, it's a fairly light cream. Well, it's, yeah, it's a lotion, so it's fairly light. And, um, it really does hydrate for quite a while. I still use this every day. Um, maybe every second day if I'm lazy. So I used it and then I kind of looked at how moisturized my skin was over the next seven days. And it did, um, stay moisturized for maybe five days. But I mean, like, if I don't moisturize for a week, my skin turns into, like, that snake skin, like, really gross. But it didn't turn into that for about probably five days. I'm not saying that it was super super moisturized but it didn't turn into like that flaky white kind of gross looking skin for about five days. Um, and I just love, love the way this smells. So yeah I've been loving that. Um, generally I don't like Garnier skincare products um, but I really love their body care products for some reason. Anyways. And then, this is the Shirley Jasmine hand cream, and I love this as a hand cream, as do tons of other people, and this is my favourite scent, the Jasmine. Like, the Jasmine one is just so good. Um, but, I have found a new use for this, because, um, as you know, it's summer, and so we're always wearing, like, wearing, like, heaps of sandals, and thongs, whatever you want to call them, um, and so like your heels can get a little bit dry and cracked and like around the edge of your feet as well. And so I probably do have like foot cream but I don't know because I always keep this next to my bed. And before I go to bed I'm like oh you know like my heels are so cracked. I don't know I'll just like put this on and I did and it was so good. I was like wow. It grossed me out a little bit just because feet grossed me out in general. But um, yeah, it worked really well on my feet. And because this is a hand cream, it um, absorbs pretty quickly as well. Not like usually foot creams, you like put quite a thick layer on, then they tell you to put on socks to kind of let it soak overnight. But um, this um, soaks in pretty quickly so you're not left with like gross, creamy feet while you're trying to sleep. Anyway, moving on. I don't want to talk about feet anymore. Finally, on to makeup products. Um, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. And I actually did a video comparing this to the Astralis Makeup Setting Makeup Finishing Spritz, um, which I will probably upload soon. I've been loving this for keeping my makeup on during the party season, um, as it has been getting a little bit warmer. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Next is the Garnier Roll-On Anti-Dark Circles. This is the one with the tint. And I know I just said that I don't generally like, um, Garnier skincare. But I use this as sort of like a corrector slash concealer under my foundation. So I kind of do like a pre um, concealing um, before I apply foundation. I'm applying this under my eyes by the way if I didn't say that before. But it's fairly light. It provides a little bit of a coverage for people with um, just a slight hint of, hint of darkness under their eyes. This would be absolutely perfect. But um, 
I need, like, I usually just use my Revlon Photo Ready after my foundation and it's fine, but because this um, month has been hectic, I've kind of had to need a pre-conceal one, so that's what I like this for. Um, I, it's supposed to be like a treatment slash conceal and I don't really feel like it treats. And um, like I said, this alone for me is not enough to correct my under eye circles. So on the days off from partying, um, I kind of went back to my Laura Mercier Tint and Moisturizer in SPF 20. This is the oil free version and I'm in the shade Nude if you're interested. Um, like the past couple of months I've been like really into my BB creams but um, last month I've kind of gone back to my Laura Mercier and I still love it. It's super super lightweight and like smooth and creamy and so easy to blend and you can also um, like it's got buildable coverage so the first layer is kind of like light to medium coverage and then you can like build it up for, for anywhere where you need like extra coverage. I will definitely be repurchasing, the, the, repurchasing this over and over again and um it's just like great for your days off. This is the NYX Candy Glitter Liner. This is in 10 silver. It's the one with the tassel. I'm not sure why there's a tassel on it, but it's easier for me to find in my makeup drawer. So that's kind of one swipe. There's quite a bit of glitter in this. And um, it's just so fun to use for the party season. It's super, super easy as well. And you just, I like to put it on top of my black eyeliner. And it doesn't smudge, it doesn't go everywhere, it doesn't irritate your eyes. Um, but when I remove this, I would suggest that you pat as opposed to rubbing because it, like if you have super sensitive eyelids, it can um, irritate your eyelids. So just kind of like pat it off, if you get what I mean. Um, but apart from that, it's like super cheap and fun and easy to use. So I've been loving that for the party season. And because I've been doing um, a little bit of crazy party makeup looks, um, I like to pair it with a kind of nude lip. And it's the one that I'm wearing now, and it's the perfect your lips for better color. It's the um, super coveted Rouge Coco Shine in Boy, which is number 54. That's what it looks like in the tube, and it kind of looks um, like a deep mauve. And when I swatch it, it just looks like a really sheer, kind of nudey pink. But on my lips, because my lips are super pigmented as well, it's like just the perfect your lips for better color. Like, there's nothing more I can say about this. Super, super loving that. And um, I love for every day as well. I think I'm going to need to pick up at least one backup of this because super super loving it finally 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 last item it's a fragrance and it's the Kim Kardashian fragrance this is her original one so I know she released a new one called Kim Kardashian gold or something like that but this is the original one and um yeah absolutely loving it it smells so nice I'm really bad at describing fragrances so I'm not gonna try but like it's sophisticated sophisticated enough to wear um, during the night time but it's also like sweet enough to wear during the day like light enough to wear during the day and it's not the kind of sickly sweet it's just like a really nice pleasant sweet um, so I've been super sweet loving that and this is like the little 10 mil volleyball um, one but um, definitely want to get the bottle when I run out of this so that's all I've got for my December favourites of 2011. Be sure to check out my best of 2011 video which I will be filming I, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I hope you had a wonderful New Year's. I wish you all the best for 2012. So thank you so much for watching and um, don't forget to rate and subscribe if you like. I will see you soon. Bye!